Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekly love reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the week of March 8th to March 15th. So guys, I changed my setup back to the way it was so that you guys can see the cards. I feel like it's better energetically, okay? Um, guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. I am choosing weekly winners. Every Sunday, I will be announcing winners for free readings. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, jewelry, Palo Santo, sage. It's a lot of fun, okay? Um, for those of you who already are subscribed and have uh, the notification bell clicked, if you're not getting notified when I post a reading, just unclick it and click it again. My subscribers have been telling me that uh, that has worked, okay? because people weren't being notified. So guys, if you'd like to book me for a personal reading, if you would like to check out my Instagram, check out my new channel, Divine Spirit Healing 1111. If you would like to check out my um, uh, Timeless Collective readings or my uh, tarot collection, everything is below. So Gemini, let's go ahead and get started. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what messages do we have for my Geminis, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign Spirit. What clarity and guidance, what love messages, what advice do we have for my Geminis? March 8th through the 14th, please. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides, what love messages do we have for my Geminis, please? All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle. So, Gemini, this could be you or it could be your person, okay, that's going through this. But, Gemini, I feel that um, you guys are definitely taking a trip down memory lane this week. You guys are thinking of people that you have disconnected from. You're thinking of maybe love affairs, friendships that are over and that have been over for quite some time. People that you are distant, uh, distant from. Um, it may kind of, I'm getting a little bit of, I'm not going to lie to you, like it, it bothers you a little bit because you may be looking at some people from your past and realizing that they're doing better than you or people from your past or are clicking on your social media and realizing that you're doing better than them. Um, and I feel like there's, there's a lot of like a trip down memory lane here. I'm feeling like people are looking at the past thinking of, you know, how sexy this person was or how sexy I used to look or, you know, how, how great this person was in bed or I wonder if I would have chosen to stay with this person, what it would have been different, you know, just like going back and wondering like, you know, if you made dis different decisions or if you didn't make the mistake that you made, if things would have been different. Now, Gemini, if you are not in this energy this week, you definitely have someone from your past that is looking at your Facebook page or Instagram page or Twitter account or whatever new social media is out at this point. I'm old. I can't keep up with you youngins. Okay. Um, but someone here is, you know, looking at your profiles, looking at your pictures and they see that you're doing really well or Gemini, you're looking at this person's picture and see that they're doing really well. And there's a sense of nostalgia. You know, there's a sense of, man, I wonder how this would have been if it would have worked out. We've got the sun card here, Leo energy. So I feel like the sun in this case is enlightenment. You're, you're finding out truths. You're looking at the truth of things. Um, you're growing. You're healing from it, recovering from it. You're knowing, you know, you or whoever it is that's doing this knows that the cycle has shut out. I'm not getting a sense of wanting to come back to reconcile. But I am getting a sense of someone's thinking about you or you are thinking about someone. So we have here, you deserve love. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay, so let's see what we have going on here, Gemini. We have the lover's card, Gemini energy. We have the three of cups. We have the Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. We have the Seven of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles. And we have the Five of Cups. Okay, so this is the person that's going through this nostalgia thing, okay? The Five of Cups talks about regret. It talks about guilt. It talks about missing somebody, mourning somebody, somebody from the past with the Seven of Pentacles, okay? So... 
someone here is thinking if I would have, you know, if I would have reconciled with my Gemini, I wonder, you know, how things would have went or Gemini, you're wondering, you know what I'm saying? If I would have, you know, gotten the love that I deserved or given the love that I deserved, how would this have been? With the Queen of Wands here, I feel that, you know, some of you may be looking back like, wow, I was so hot back then or wow, they were so hot back then or wow, they were so sexy. Um, you know, I was so optimistic. I thought I was right by walking away from this, but you know, I'm really regretting the decision that I made. You understand? So here we have on this side, let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. And we have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So someone here let go, you know what I'm saying? Like after this breakup, someone let go, they let God and they fell in love with someone else and they fell in love. So here we have the five of wands and the star, Aquarius energy. So I feel like this person at one point had hope for this connection, so they fought for it. This person really, really fought for this connection. But I feel like with let go of control issues, this person just walked away from the fighting and the drama. With romantic feelings, we've got the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Wands, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Someone here met someone new and put their guard up against all of this chaotic craziness, okay? With the chariot, they put themselves first and move forward. So we have one person here stuck in the past and we've got one person here that has moved on and is living their life. And we have the challenge here is the eight of cups. Someone here is unable to emotionally disconnect. Crossing the situation, we've got the king of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. So someone here is still very much committed. Someone here is still mourning this connection. Someone here is still, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, someone here is still in love. We've got the world card and the tower as the outcome. Yeah, someone here needs to come to the realization that it's really over and it's going to hit them. And this could have been years, five years or more, you know what I'm saying, seven years. Um, but someone's coming to the realization, it could even be months, five to seven months. But I feel like someone here is coming to the realization that it's really over. You know, it's really over. This person has moved on. They're in love with somebody new. They're passionate about their new person. Um, they may be getting communication or seeing clearly that they are in love with someone new. And I mean, this is good though, because with the sun here and the ace of cups, they're, well, they're going to see that someone here is happy, that they've recovered, that they've healed, that they're in love. Um, someone here has moved on and that's, that's great. Everything's fine and dandy, but that's going to help you, someone here, cut off their emotion. There you are, Gemini. Someone here is going to be able to think with their head uh, and not with their heart. Yeah, because I feel that someone passionately wants to rush in. Someone passionately wants to rush in someone wants to talk and you know with the three of pentacles do you think we could work things out but then they they retreat they hold back with the hermit card because i guess they see that this person has moved on and is living happily ever after so yeah one person is just stuck in the past the other person is you know has moved on Yeah, I'm getting one person is just like, oh my gosh, you know, they were so hot. They were so gorgeous. You know what I'm saying? You know, they, they were so, you know, passionate for me. Um, you know, we, we were soulmates. We were meant to be together. I should have went in. I should have reconciled. I should have given the love that they deserved. But someone here was so optimistic that they could find better. You know, it's like a five of swords type of feeling. Like someone was so optimistic when they walked away that they would find something better. They didn't appreciate what they had when they had it and now you know one man's garbage is another man's treasure that's going to be the name of this video i love you guys please be sure to like share comment and subscribe and i will see you guys soon take care